गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टी एस इन क्लासेस नो स्टूडेंट वी वॉज स्टेडिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ सेल्स एंड नाउ टूडे इज आर टॉपिक इज प्रोक्रियोटिक सेल्स नो कम टू पेज नंबर वन ट्वेंटी एट वन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी सॉरी वन ट्वेंटी सेवन एट पॉइंट फोर प्रोक्रियोटिक सेल्स द प्रोक्रियोटिक सेल्स आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई बैक्टीरिया ब्लू ग्रीन इली माइक्रोप्लाज्मा पी पी एल ओ ब्यूरो निमोनिया लाइक ऑर्गेनिज्म दे आर जनरली स्मॉलर एंड मल्टीप्लाई मोर रेपिडली दैन द यूक्रियोटिक सेल्स दे मे वेरी ग्रेटली इन शेप एंड साइज द फोर बेसिक शेप्स ऑफ बैक्टीरिया आर बेसिल दैट आर रॉट लाइक कोकस वेरिकल विब्रियो कोमा शेप एंड स्पैरलम स्पैरल नॉ सी स्टूडेंट प्रोक्रियोटिक सेल्स आर बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ ग्रुप ऑफ बैक्टीरियाज ब्लू ग्रीन एलगी माइक्रोप्लाज्मा एंड पी पी एल ओ नॉ दे जनरली वेरी इन शेप एंड साइज then eukaryotic cells now the four basic types of bacteria which are that is bacillus which is rod like in shape coccus is spherical in shape vibrio is comma in shape spiruculum is spiral in shape now the organism of the prokaryotic cell is fundamentally similar even though prokaryotes exhibits a wide varieties of shapes and functions all prokaryotes have a cell wall surrounding the cell membrane except the myco plasma the fluid matrix filling the cell is the cytoplasm there is no well defined nucleus the genetic material is basically naked not enveloped by the nuclear membrane in addition to the gen- genomic dna the single chromosome cellular dna many bacteria have small cellular dna outside the genomic dna these smaller dna are called as plasmids now see organism basically in the prokaryotic cells we do not have well defined cell organelles or membrane bound cell organelles or membrane bound nucleus the fluid matrix in the cell is basically filled with cytoplasm it do not have well defined nucleus the genetic material is basically naked means it is not enveloped by nuclear membrane now in addition to the genomic dna many bacteria have small circular dna outside the genomic dna is present now these smaller dna are called as plasmids now the plasmid dna confirms certain unique phenotypic characters to such bacteria now see student plasmid dna which is present in the bacteria confirm the certain unique uh, phenotypic characters of the bacteria one such characteristic is resistance to antibiotics and one of the characteristic which is provided by this plasmid is resistance to the antibiotics in the higher classes you have you will learn that this plasmid dna is used to monitor bacterial transformation within now dna now this plasmids are basically used to monitor the bacterial transformation within the foreign dna nuclear membrane is bound in eukaryotes no organelles like the one in eukaryotes are found in prokaryote cells except the ribosomes prokaryotes have something unique in the form of inclusions a specialized differentiated form of cell membrane called mesosomes is the characteristics of prokaryotes they are essential in folding of cell membrane see students you all know that in prokaryotes we do not have membrane bound cell organelles and apart from this p uh, mesosomes are present and mesosomes are basically in foldings of the cell membrane now then come cell envelope and its modifications most prokaryotic cells particularly the bacterial cells have a chemically complex cell envelope this cell envelope consists of a tightly bound three layered structure outermost glycocalyx followed by the cell wall and then the plasma membrane although each layer of the envelope perform different functions they act together as a single protective unit now see student in the prokaryote in prokaryotes that is in the bacterial cells we have a chemical complex cell and cell envelope and this cell envelope consists of a tightly bound three layered structure and this three layered structure is basically is that the outermost to the glycocalyx and it is followed by the cell membrane and then the plasma membrane now although each layer of the envelope perform distinct function they act together as a single protective unit now each layer perform their own function and they have their own chemical composition 
Now bacteria can be classified into two groups on the basis of difference in the cell envelope and the manner in which they respond to the staining procedure developed by Gram. Now see students in the now basically the bacteria are classified into two types. One is Gram positive and Gram negative, and they are classified basically on the basis of the difference in the cell envelope and the manner in which they respond to the staining procedure. And the staining procedure was developed by a scientist called Gram. Now those bacteria which take up gram stains are called as gram positive and that which do not take up gram stain are called as gram negative bacteria now glycocalyx differs in composition and thickness among different bacteria and basically due to the presence of this glycocalyx only we are able to differentiate between the bacteria because the amount of glycocalyx is different in different different bacteria it could be a loose sheet like called thin slime in some while in other it may be a thick and tough called capsule now this glycocalyx can be in a form of loose sheet loose uh, sheet called slime layer in some of the bacteria while in other bacteria it is thick and tough called as capsule now the cell wall determine the shape of the cell and provide a strong structural support to prevent the bacteria from bursting or collapse, collapsing now basically the cell wall is also present in the bacteria and they provide the definite shape to the cell and apart from this they also provide strong structural support to prevent the bacteria and basically they prevent the bacteria from rusting and collapsing. The plasma membrane selectively permeable in nature and interact with the outside and outward world. This membrane is similar structure to that of the eukaryotes. Now you all know that plasma membrane is a selectively permeable membrane as it interacts with the outside environment and this membrane is similar in structure to that of the eukaryotic cells. A special membrane structure is called mesosomes which is formed by the extension of the plasma membrane into the cell. These extensions are in a form of vesicles, tubules or lamella. Now see students, apart from this, they also bacterial cell also have mesosomes and these are the basically enfoldings of the plasma membrane into the cells. Now these extensions may be in a form of vesicle or maybe in a form of a tube or laminae. Now they help in cell wall formation, DNA replication, distribution to daughter cells. Now what they are doing, they are basically help the cell wall, it's, uh, they are basically help in cell wall formation in the DNA replication and distribution of material to the daughter cells. They also help in respiration, secretion, increase the surface area of the plasma membrane, enzymatic content. In some prokaryotes like cyanobacteria, there are another membrane extension into the cytoplasm called chromatophores which contain pigments. Now see students. In some prokaryotes like cyanobacteria, there is another membrane extension is present in the cytoplasm that is known as chromatophores and these chromatophores contains pigments. Now next, bacterial cell may be motile or non-motile. Now bacterial cell can be motile or non-motile. If motile, they have thin filamentous extensions from their cell wall called flagella. Bacteria show a range in their number and arrangement of flagella. Bacterial flagella is composed of three types, filament, hook and basal body. The filament is the longest portion and extend from the cell surface to the outside. Now see students, bacteria show mobility basically due to presence of flagella. And these flagella um, ranges in, the, in their numbers and their arrangement. Now basically this flagellum is divided into three parts. The first one is the filament, hook and the basal body. This basal body is present in the body of the organism okay then come hook and then the filament now this filament is the longest portion and it is extends out from the cell membrane to the outside now beside flagella pila and fembrae are also surface structures of the bacteria but do not play a role in mobility now apart from the apart from flagella pila and fembrae all are also present on the surface of the bacteria but they do not play any role in the mobility now these pili are elongated tubular structure made up of spherical special proteins now basically these pili are elongated tubular structure and they are made up of special proteins now the fimbri are small bristle like fibers sprouting out of the cells and these fibers are small bristle like means kato ke jaise hota hai these fibers and they comes out from the cell body 
Now in the some bacteria they are known to help attach the bacteria to rock and streams and also to the host tissues. Now what these femora are doing they are basically help the bacteria to hold the uh, hold any rock or any host tissue. Okay. Now next come ribosomes and inclusion bodies. In prokaryotic in prokaryotes ribosomes are associated with the plasma membrane of the cells they are about 15 nanometer by 20 nanometer in size and are made up of two subunits 50s and 30s units which uh, when present together form 70 s prokaryotic ribosomes ribosome are the site of protein synthesis several ribosomes may attach to form single mrna and form a chain called polyribosomes or polysomes the ribosomes of the polysomes translate the mrna into protein now see students in the prokaryotes ribosomes are basically present in the plasma membrane of the cells and they vary in size basically 15 nanometer to 20 nanometers and in the prokaryotes it is of 70s types now this 70s is again divided into two that is 50s and 30s 50s 50s and 30s combined together and form 70s prokaryotic ribosomes now basically ribosomes are the sites of protein synthesis means the ribosomes ke andar protein synthesis hota hai now when many ribosomes are attached together to form mrna and form a chain and this chain is known as polyribosome or polysomes now the ribosomes of the polysome translate the mrna into protein now what this ribosomes are doing uh, ribosomes kya kar rahi hai polysomes ye polysomes kiska bana hua hai basically ribosomes ka hi bana hua hai aur ye ribosomes kya kar rahi hai translate kar rahe hain kiska translation kar rahe hain mrna ka translation kar rahe hain kis mein proteins ke andar mrna se jo protein ban raha hai wo ribosomes ki help se hi ban raha hai then come inclusions bodies reserve material in prokaryotic cells are stored in the cytoplasm in the form of inclusions body now the reserve material in the prokaryotic cells are stored in the form of inclusion bodies these are not bounded by any membrane system and lie free in the cytoplasm it is not bounded by any membrane and they lie freely in the cytoplasm their examples are phosphate granules cyanophysian granules glycogen granules now gas vacuoles are found in blue green purple and green photosynthetic bacteria now see student gas vacuoles are present in blue green and purple and green photosynthetic bacteria okay Now next come okay student thank you